It was still a really good arc and I really enjoyed it. Oops. Alright. And this release is awesome because it has Shinobu all over it. Got some awesome end card, like postcards with Shinobu artwork on it. Not a too big of a fan of that art style. And then we have the cover and the back side of the set. Alright guys, now just give me a minute to put all this back. Alright, and then next up we have uh, Koi Monogatari. Um, so the arc I mentioned earlier about focusing on Haji, like, the second arc in Monogatari I said was Koi Monogatari, I was obviously wrong. <laughs> um, my mistake. Uh, but this is the last arc in Monogatari second season, so I now have all of Monogatari second season, which is awesome. Uh, I haven't watched this arc yet. So I'm looking forward to checking it out. I'll probably watch it sometime soon. Probably sometime this weekend. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to finishing up the second season of Monogatari. Or Monogatari second season, rather. It's because it's not really the sec second season, it's technically the third. You have some nice background art there. Um, I've really enjoyed the second, the Monogatari second season so far, so I'm really looking forward to finishing it up. And this focuses, seems to focus at least. They might pull, well, no, I think it's going to focus on Hidegi, um, who is my second favorite girl in the series. So I'm looking forward to this arc quite a bit. I'm just going to quickly go through this because I don't want to spoil anything for myself. And then, we'll go through the postcards. Hopefully don't have any spoilers on them either. This stack feels quite thick. I feel like these are the most popular cards that have been included in these sets so far. All right. That's pretty cool, I like that. That is very nice as well. That looks like the that looks like the Anisakoi art style. Art style. Um, I've got no idea what's going on in this picture <laughs> whatsoever. Uh, no idea what's going on here either. That looks, that looks like something out of Parasite. Oh, and then we have, um, what's her name? Monkey Arm Girl. Um, I don't think she's made an appearance in the second season so far. Not that I can remember off the top of my head. I think she did in the first arc. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she did in the first arc. But it looks like she might have a role in this arc, so that's pretty cool. Alright guys, give me a minute to put all this back now. Alright, next up we have Kill a Kill Volume 4. Um, I know I haven't shown Volume 3 in any of my videos yet. Uh, that is because um, I'm stupid and accidentally ordered the Standard Edition of Volume 3. So I'm going to have to return that and order the Limited Edition. Which I will do soon. Alright, so here is the first case. Got some nice art with uh, Sat Satsuki, Satsuki on it. <clears throat> uh, that is some interesting discard. I don't think there's anything really too interesting in the back. Nah, not really. Oh, it's another making of documentary DVD. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't realize I was with this volume. Um, I will be checking that out uh, very soon. Whoops. Oh, shit. My bad. I just knocked over the art box, art box by mistake. Uh, and then we have one of uh, Nanon, or yeah, I think it's Nanon. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. No, it's not Nanon. This is um, that's the musical 
club leader person. This is, um, cool discard. This is, uh, what's her name? Oh, I can't remember her name. I cannot remember her name for the life of me. Yeah, I tried. I can't remember her name. Oh, here's a post over, though. And then we have this. Oh, now it's going to bug me. And we have this little card. And we have postcards. I think there's only two here. Yeah. Alright, just give me a minute to put all this back again now. Alright, next up we have uh, Nyaruko, Crawling with Love. Uh, this is my one and only NIS pickup for this uh, video. Um, I've watched this and it's uh, it was pretty good. I had pretty low expectations for it. So maybe that's why I enjoyed it as much as I did. But I didn't think it was that bad of a series. Um, it was pretty entertaining. Uh, the comedy was quite good. They had some references to it. Re they had some reference references. Holy man, two other anime in it. Um, and the character, well, the characters are, are alright, obviously, well, easily, the most entertaining character is the, the female lead, Nyaruko. Um, other than that, the rest of the characters are alright. Um, it's nothing to write home about, obviously, it's just, um, it's just kind of like a... I don't know if I want to say generic, but it's just like a, a little slightly above mediocre comedy series. Um, so if you're in the mood for some comedy, you know, give it a shot if you want. And my phone is ringing. Oops, a second. Um, sorry, I got a phone call. Um, I can, I've lost my train of thought. I can't remember what I was talking about. Um, I think I was just saying that there was character artwork in this book or something like that. Um, and I can't remember if I finished talking about what I thought of the series. Uh, yeah, it was. it's an, a little above average comedy series. Um, so, you know, if you're just in the mood for something to turn your brain off and laugh a little bit, check it out. Um, it has a really good female lead, in my opinion, a really entertaining female lead, so. If that, uh, if that tickles your fancy, then give it a shot. Alright, last but not least, guys, um, we have the Bubblegum Crisis Ultimate Edition set that was funded by a Kickstarter. And with it came this little patch that I will never use. Um, I guess you're meant to sew it onto a hoodie or something. Um, I will not be doing that. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> um, then you get some postcards. Well, not postcards, like art cards. Um, this picture is kind of interesting because they decided to color her shadow red. And it makes it look like she perioded all over the floor. So, I just kind of thought I'd point that out. I'm sure that's some visual imagery that you guys totally wanted um, in your head, so if that sentence made any sense. But uh, in all seriousness, I've heard quite a bit about this series, and I've been really curious to check it out, and I just also just want to add some more older series to my collection. I've actually, because there's like a remastered DVD set, I've actually um, planned on buying it multiple times, but held off constantly because I other releases took priority and whatnot. Uh, I'm really glad I held off because uh, this came out obviously and I can just pick this up and have this now. 
And as I said, it was funded by a Kickstarter, via Kickstarter. And it's really, really good apparently because it, like, I think it, like, quadrupled its goal. So it just, they had, like, way more money than they expected they would to work with. So the, um, the, the Blu-ray, like, quality is really good apparently. Um, there's, I think there's, like, a, I don't know for sure, I think there's a, but a, <laughs> I cannot talk. I'm not sure, but I think there's a lot of extras on here because of the extra money they were given. There's um, tons of subtitles. I think you can choose the color of your subtitles on this. I'm just trying to remember things off the top of my head that I've heard about this set. I don't even know how much of it is true, to be honest. And it might have been me just misunderstanding certain things. But I've just heard that there was this set and the remastering process into Blu-ray was really, really well done for this set. And Bubblegum Crisis is a miniseries I've been curious, in it for, curious about for a really long time. So I am very much looking forward to watching this. And I'll probably do it this weekend. I'll probably watch Monog the last arc of Monogatari second season. And then I'll probably watch this as well this weekend, because they're both short, like Monogatari's second season is four episodes, I believe, four or five, and this is eight episodes, I think, an eight episode OVA. So, yeah guys, that is it. Um, I will have a, another video coming out after the, soon after this um, with figures, my figure pickups, I've been picking up a lot of figures lately, um, and just various other merchandise I've picked up over the last few months. So. Hopefully you checked that out. Hopefully, you know, you enjoyed this video. I know it was boring at points because I haven't watched a lot of the things I showed today, so I didn't have a whole lot to say about it other than I've heard a lot about it and I'm really looking forward to watching it, so which is really boring, mundane stuff to listen to. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it regardless, and I hope you guys have a good day. Uh, we'll see you in the next unboxing video.